because she's a baby. You know what I mean? Hey, baby boy. Oh, you scared me. I was like, what? Oh, that's your dad. You called your dad, baby. No, dad. Say hi. No, that's your dad. It's Destiny, and I don't know if y'all saw this live that Liv did, but AJ was calling everybody. He called some random man on Liv's phone. He called Zolo. He called Grandma. He was just calling everybody. It was a party over there. AJ was just having a great time. But of course, at a certain point, Liv was tired of him calling people. She told him, you can't just go down the list and call everybody. And it just makes me wonder how many men are in her phone. Just imagine the long list of POF men in Liv's phone. It's scary. So if you're ready to get into this live stream, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Where did you have this? Where did you find this? My other phone, thank you, baby. You all again. No, it didn't die. Mommy turned it off. Amanda keeps coming back, but talking shit. That don't make no sense. Sandy Blonde. Erica. That was not Mommy, beautiful, girl. That was a hot mess. Mommy, get my ball. Mommy, let me get my ball. Help you with your ball? Yes. Okay. For there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You gotta talk to boys different sometimes. Yeah, girl. I was somewhere today. I went to. I went somewhere today. Me with my ball. And of course, AJ was acting up. It don't work. I have to put new batteries. It doesn't work. Um, AJ was acting yes. up. Of course, Liv was the same one that told us that when AJ and her go out, he knows how to act right. But now she's saying, oh, of course he was acting up. Well, Liv, of course. Why would he do anything different? AJ only acts the way Liv allows him to. Thank you. <laughs> and um, the lady who was helping... Oh, okay, we hit the baby. We have to be careful. The lady who was helping me... Okay, you're hitting the baby. We can't play catch anymore. You have to wait till I'm not holding her. Then we can play catch, okay? Wait a second. I'm holding her and it keeps hitting her in the face. You have to wait. AJ. Okay, out. You're not gonna listen, you gotta go. You gotta listen or you gotta go? One of the two. What are you gonna do? You gonna listen? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um. God damn, I can't finish the sentence. Get off my stuff now. Don't touch my keyboard or my mouse. Don't touch those two things. Hello, oh, child. Okay. So I was at the place today and the lady, he was acting up. And the lady's like, girl, I have a son. He acts the exact oh, same way, so I understand. I'm like, Mommy. Poor Kailani, she already has allergies, bronchitis, a cold. Yes, Liv said she has all of that. Which one is it? I have no idea. But now she's getting a ball thrown in her face. For real. Mommy. What? I want Kailani. No, you can't have Kailani. Kailani's chilling. Leave her alone. Go get some toys. Why are you taking your socks off? It's too high. I want. I want Kailani. No, leave her sock on. No. Leave her sock on. No. Leave her sock on. Let go. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Let go. No. I don't care, AJ. I don't care. You need to calm down. Don't do that. Don't do that. You need to, like, knock it off, okay? Stop. Of course, this is Liv's way of parenting, sitting in a chair, watching AJ do exactly what he isn't supposed to do, and just telling him to stop, calm down. And why did AJ ask for Kailani? That was kind of weird. Do you think Liv actually gives Kailani to AJ sometimes? That sounds kind of dangerous to me.
Don't go in that box. My big butt baby. You should have your kid make a hobby. It'll keep him busy. No, y'all should chill and don't worry about my toddler. He's two years old. He'll be three soon and he'll be in school and he'll be in baseball because I'm gonna put him in baseball. Until that day happens, he's gonna stay right here on the camera with me, getting on my nerves, irritating the f out of me, and I'm gonna stay yelling at him. So get used to it. Now there was a lot in this clip, but I first wanna talk about the person that wrote that comment. The person said you should get AJ into a hobby so he can have something to do. Now, I guess in Liv's mind, that meant she has to get up out the house and take him somewhere to do something. And of course she's going to go off. She doesn't like to go out. No. That is why the Webb children missed so many days of school because she doesn't like going outside. But my thing is, doesn't Liv understand that you can get AJ things that can keep him occupied. I mean, you get him all these toys, but maybe you need to find something that's actually going to occupy his time. And then Liv said she's going to get him in baseball soon, and then he's going to be doing that. Okay, let's break this down. Liv has an older son. His name is Christian. He plays football. He's been playing football for years, and Liv has went to one football game. But now you're trying to sit here and tell us that you will get AJ into baseball so you're going to prioritize taking your youngest son to baseball, spending time doing that, going to his games, whatever, right? How are you going to explain that to your son, your oldest son? How are you going to explain that it's better for you to go to your youngest son's games than support your oldest son? In my opinion, that's going to cause some issues. Definitely. But bottom line, Liv is not going to put AJ into anything. I doubt he will even go to school because she's lazy. Just think about it, y'all. She even said in one of her latest live streams that she doesn't want to go out the house. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like getting up early. She likes staying up late. Do we really think this woman is going to get her child in a team sport, meaning she has to be at practices and games? No. Now, will she maybe take AJ to the park with a baseball and a bat and try to teach him something? Probably. But actually having to commit to a baseball team with other children and going to the practices and talking to the other parents, spending time doing that, definitely not. She told us that AJ can't go to school right now because Kailani is sick. Now let's continue with Liv's rant when people try to tell her something that might actually help her situation. Okay. Don't tell me what I need to do with him. Don't tell me where I need to put him. Don't tell, I already know what I need to do with him. He's a baby, okay? And when he gets a little bit older, he will be up out of my face and to school and to his baseball practice. But until the, that day comes, he gonna be right here. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, don't come back, okay? Thank you. They act like, they act like, oh my God, a mom irritated with her son. <gasps> this, I've never seen this before. Bitch, what? Don't y'all have kids? Don't your kids get on your mother nerves? Ew, and I'm not for the acting like a perfect mom. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Girl, kids get on your motherfucking nerves. It is what it is. What surprises me is that Liv thinks that once AJ gets a little bit older, he just won't act like this anymore. Let me know if I'm wrong, y'all, but how will he just magically not be like this? So going from two to three, he'll listen more. She already told a story about him acting up when they were out, wherever they were. AJ is already calling Liv the B word, so I just can't wait to see what Kailani starts calling Liv. I mean, she doesn't care about cussing in front of her children, clearly. Even though they use those words against her, so I can't wait to see what Kailani calls her in the future. Girl, get over it. If y'all have a problem with it, don't watch it. If it's triggering, don't watch it. Did your mom used to beat your ass unconscious? That's not my fucking problem, bitch. We don't have those problems over here. I don't beat his ass. That's why he acts the way he acts. I let him be who he wants to be, but I sure damn are, I'm sure am going gonna yell at his ass. 
If you don't like it, don't watch. Okay? Fuck out of here. All these hypersensitive. I can't stand these fucking sensitive ass fucking people. God damn, bro. Whew. Lord Jesus, help me. Please help me. I got my toys. You got your toys? Yes. Good job, baby. You can bring Kalani a toy. Grow up. Get a life. You seem lonely. Bitch, how can I seem lonely when I got him up my ass 24-7? How in the world can I be lonely? Oh! Now, I can see why people would think Liv is lonely because she gets on YouTube and does live streams every single day, multiple times a day, and she says she's not getting paid. What would be the reason for that? But now we have to listen to Liv try to convince everybody that she doesn't want a man. Because I don't have a man here, to all you male-centered females out there, um, who can't live without a man, you have no confidence, and you would just die if your man left you type looking ass bitch. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not, I'm not that one. No, I don't need a man over here. I, I don't want one, okay? It's like, it's gonna be like having another AJ. I'm good. What I need a man for? I'm not lonely at all. I love my solitude. I love it. I love that this is my motherfucking place. And can't nobody tell me what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Okay, right, girl? I don't want to give up my singleness, y'all. That's what I was going to come on here and talk to you guys. Mom, you want to try? About. Yeah, that's your check. Okay. You want to try to get high? Oh, thank you. See, Kailani, your brother gave you a check. Let's all remember, Liv is the same one that got on another live stream and said that Joey is going to be there for Kailani's birthday in December. You know, Joey, AJ's fake dad. Yeah, he's supposed to be there for Kailani's birthday in December and he's supposed to live with Liv, you know, move in, and they're going to be together as a couple. Lost weight, and now that I'm more comfortable with myself, now that I want to put it on, beach. Like, he's a man that likes to dress up, okay, girl? So, like, I now love to dress up. So, like, we can explore that together, and we can do things together. Like, there's a lot of shit that we can do together now. He, like Cynthia said, Sagittarius men love to go outside, beach, okay? And he's like that. He always wants to be outside. He always wants to, not always. He's actually getting older, so he's different a little bit. But when I met him, bitch, he was like, Mr. Outside, okay? Like, he likes to put on his dressy shoes. <laughs> So cute. He'd be having photo shoots, okay? Vroom, 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 vroom. She's like, mommy, what am I supposed to do with this, mommy? This ugly, disgusting truck. You know Kailani's a girly girl. She doesn't want a truck. Go get her something else. Go get her a cute little toy. Oh, thank you. He gave her another truck. Santa's gonna get you a bunch of trucks for Christmas. Why? Why? Yeah. Because Santa's gonna get you a bunch of trucks. You want trucks for Christmas? Yes. Yeah. We're gonna go see Santa, okay? You gotta tell Santa that you want trucks, okay? Okay. 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 I think I wanna take my kids to the, um, the monster truck event again. I think AJ would love that. Kailani is playing with a marker. I really don't think she cares about what she plays with. And yes, I think the kids would love that. She should take all of the kids and go to the monster truck thing. Can you imagine Liv with all five kids out doing that? Oh yeah, that would be hilarious. Yes, Liv, please spend some of that generational wealth and take your children to the monster truck thing. That would be fun. Tell me what that. Tell me what that. Bro. Okay, they like what that. I bet I want that over here. I bet I want that over here. Let me fly you out. I'm trying to trick on you. <laughs> Y'all funny as hell. <laughs> Pretending much Let more power to you. Great. Oh my god, you guys. Y'all trolls. Oh my god, my hair. Girl. 
sorry. Why do you give, why do you give into the clothes though? Now that was a great question, but people have to understand that this is Liv's whole life. Her channel is a drama channel. Liv has been doing YouTube since she was with Gerard. Gerard will be at work and she will be at home sitting down on the computer, going live, doing videos. That was her whole day. This is the lifestyle that she's been used to because Gerard would work. She would be able to be at home with the children. Now she's still trying to have that life, but there's no man there. So now she has to rely on everybody else to take care of her. So yes, she's going to give into the trolls. She's going to talk back. She's going to cuss. She's going to be the loud, disrespectful woman that she is because that's what gets her what she wants. Attention and money. <laughs> it's the same comebacks too. The same shit over and over on week. Because I can. And this is my channel. And I'm going to say what I want to say. And guess what? You're going to come back and watch it. So we're just gonna keep going around and around in this circle. But there's only one of us who benefit from this and it's me, not you. So I can get on here and do whatever the fuck I want. I can come on here and go and take a shit with you guys. It really doesn't matter. This is my platform. You understand how that works? You're the one that keeps coming back here. You obviously have a problem with me. You don't like me, whatever the case may be, but you still come back. So ask yourself, why do you keep coming back here? Don't ask me what, about nothing about the comebacks, the biz, the that, the troll, da, 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 da. I don't care about none of that. Cause this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it. Look how proud Liv is telling everybody that she's going to do what she wants to do, no matter what. What happened to wanting to go to beauty school? What happened to wanting to be a tattoo artist? What happened to wanting to be a makeup artist? Why can't you want to do positive things? Why can't you want to do things in life that will make your children proud of you? Why can't you do things in life that will have your children looking at you and saying, wow, I want to be like that. I want to go to school. I want to get a degree. I want to get my high school diploma. You know? Comprende? Okay, cool. <sighs> Trump or Kamala. That's not even a conversation anymore. Kamala won. Bye. Did she just say Kamala won? Bitches out there that try to act like you're perfect, y'all end up with the worst children ever. Your children be rude, disrespectful, fucked up in the head, girl. Don't play with me. AJ's gonna be the most sanest, coolest, down to earth kid you're gonna know. Because I let him act a damn fool right now. Because I let him be himself. Fuck out of here. That weird shit. Oh, what's she smiling at me for, mama? Worn out because her cough, but like, she's okay, you guys. She doesn't have a I'm fever. Lying. She's eating. I'm lying, she her, her cough, we just She said that AJ is going to be a good kid because she lets him act out right now. I would love to see how that works out for her. This is the first time Liv actually had to raise children by herself. First it was Gerard there, then it was her mother there, now it's nobody. I would love to see how these children turn out with just Liv as a mother and nobody else. And it's like all that mucus, my baby can't hock it up Hello? because she's a baby, you know what I mean? Hey baby boy. Oh you scared me, I was like what? Oh that's your dad, you called your dad baby. No dad! Say hi. No, that's your dad. Oh you see, Liv, you have this baby so confused. You said this is his dad. He's like, what's up, Joey? And then you're like, oh, no, that's your dad. He doesn't know. Y'all remember that video of her trying to convince everybody that Kalani and AJ had the same father? Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Hey, you're so happy when you see your daddy. Look at you. Hi, you waving? Hi. Hi, Kai Kai. Love Hi, AJ. Love you. Say that. It's okay. Oh my god. He's so tired. Say hi. Talk about I don't know who my baby daddy is and all this extra shit, bitch, fine. 
And then when I and then when I show y'all what it is, that's her gay best friends. That's not her baby daddy, bitch. Bye. Jordan is locked up somewhere. I don't know where the hell Jordan is, but Jordan and Joey sound nothing like. Y'all wish it was my gay best friend though. Y'all wish. Y'all mad. My haters are so mad. They hate when I prove them wrong. They hate when I put them bitches back in their motherfucking place. Dusty ass bitches. Don't be mad, y'all. Cause y'all baby daddies don't claim your kids. That's not my problem. My baby daddy loves my children. He loves his babies. Period. Y'all need to find something safe to do. Okay, all you weird bitches and all you desperate ass niggas out there who want clout off a of live. Please find something safe to do, okay? Make sure you guys watch my last vlog, okay? And don't trip, my baby daddy will be out here soon. He'll say a lot more. He got a lot to say on this topic. Mm. Of a dusty bitch. Of a bitch who can't go to the dermatologist to save her life. Saying that um, I don't know who my baby daddy is and AJ's father is a homeless gay man in Chicago. No. No. Lorenzo. Yes. The man himself, Mr. Mr. Bands. <laughs> that is AJ's father. Mm -hmm. And if you guys know, we've had quite a past. And AJ's father is a homeless gay man in Chicago. No. No. In that same video, she's telling him, speak to your dad, say hi to your dad. Now you're saying this other guy is his dad? He's confused, all because of you. What? Yeah, saying yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know what my son is saying. Yeah, she looks bye. like she's calling me. I'm calling grandma now. She's like, bye, I'm calling grandma now. AJ calling everybody. Girl, I need my damn phone. AJ, give me my phone. I would love to know who Liv thought AJ was calling because she said she got scared. Who did she think was on that phone? I don't know who's calling now. Hey Carol. Y'all were wondering, they were wondering where my mods were. Who is this that he's calling on my phone? I, I Babe, let me see the phone. Hey. Hey. Hi. Me, 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 me. He's calling everybody on my phone. Me, me. Are you breaking up? I said he's calling everybody on my phone. Yeah, what? He's calling everybody. AJ Hush! So if you're wondering who's on the phone, this is just some random man that Liv used to talk to. I don't believe it's Jimbe. I think it's somebody who's out of state, probably. But my question is, what happened to I don't want a man, I'm not worried about a man, y'all are worried about a man? Hmm. He's calling everybody on my Good phone. Good me Hello? What's up, man? That's Hi, baby. Come here, I'm gonna call you back, okay? Or you can call me back, either way. We'll see. Okay. Hi. This is not AJ Hotline. You're calling everybody. You're going down the list and you're calling everybody. That's not okay, bro. No. That's enough. No. No, because you're not calling grandma. You're hitting up on grandma. Bro, I don't want you calling. So, yes, I did cut out the part where AJ kept calling his grandma, Stella back to back hanging up on her and she was calling back then 
Lou was calling her back. It was a mess. AJ just kept hanging up on her. Ah! What? No, because you keep hanging up on grandma. No. And then you called your dad and you hung up on him. <laughs> What's wrong with you, kid? <laughs> he told us that. Okay, bye. I'm going to call grandma now. <laughs> oh, my God. AJ, you're so funny, bro. Give me this. Uh, All right, wait. Okay, if you hang up, let's see if Grandma answers, because you're not going to have my phone free. Willy-nilly, dialing everybody's number. Hold it. Ew, he's like, hold it. <laughs> you are so my kid. Thank you, no. So I guess Liv and Zolo are on good terms, since AJ was able to call him. Just think about how AJ is able to call Zolo whenever he wants, or at least whenever he gets Liv's phone. He can call his dad, but when the older three children were little, Liv didn't want them talking to their dad. She gets on here a lot talking about she never kept the children away from him, but we all know different. If you don't go sit right there and talk to grandma, and you better not hang up on her, I'm gonna take my phone from you. Hello? I have a headache. <laughs> no, you're not calling Davis. Stop saying that. You're not calling him. No, you're calling grandma. You wanted to talk to grandma. Talk to grandma. Oh my God, kid. I don't know who he wants to talk to. Boy, you can't do a everybody FaceTime. If he could, he would call everybody at the same time. Oh, wait, my head hurts. Embarrassing. He literally called a dude that I don't even talk to anymore. Like, dude, don't do that. How awkward. That guy looked really good, though. I need to stop. Because it doesn't matter what a person looks like. So AJ said he wants to call somebody, I think he said Davis or David. And Liv said no. But then she said the guy that... AJ did call, she doesn't talk to anymore. But as soon as the guy picked up the phone, he immediately said hi to AJ. So my question is, how long ago were you talking to this guy if he knows AJ? It had to be recent. Okay. Oh, he called you back. Hi. You said you thought I called you back? How are you? Huh? Mommy. Mommy, let me hold grandma again. No. Get off of me. How are you? Hi. I'm alright. What's up, man? I don't know where are you. But mommy, oh, you want to call mommy? Okay. Oh, who does he want to talk to me? <laughs> He said you want to, yeah. oh, this is hideous. He said you want to talk to mommy? No, damn, yeah, mommy. I'll talk to you first. No priority. What are you doing? You look like you're chilling. I don't know if y'all heard that, but when the guy said, how are you doing to AJ? Then AJ said something like, oh, I don't know where you are. And that's when Liv looked at the phone like, oop. In my opinion, Liv has AJ and Kailani meet too many different men. AJ is already confused on who his dad is because for two years it was one guy, now this year it's somebody else, and she continues to bring different random guys into the home. Oh, AJ, I'm talking to you now. I'm talking. I'm talking. Uh, your German Shepherd pit bull. Oh, and pit bull. Okay, I thought you said your German Shepherd pit bull. German Shepherd and pit bull? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Aww, that's cute. I thought that was her dad. Oh, so are you mad that they had puppies or what? Disappointing, because not my plan. I was not my plan was not to have much breeder. A German Shepherd and/or a pit bull, so I can make a lot more money. 
Yeah. yeah. Are you selling the puppies? I mean, I can with this batch, but they're mutt mutts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who this guy is. Maybe it's Davis or David or whoever. I have no idea. I do not remember hearing this guy's voice before. Hi. You look so clean cut. What's going on here? Is it because did you cut your hair or something? You cut your hair. You're freezing. We can't see you. Wait, hold on. I can't see you. I'm trying to get a good look at you now. Oh, the puppy! No, stop! Let me see. Oh, look at the puppy. Look at the puppy. He's showing us the puppies. That is so cute. Well, I hear one more, and then that could be real good. Did I do that? <laughs> Roseanne. Stop. AJ wants that phone. He wants to talk. He does not want to live in that phone. He wants to do it. He wants to hold it. He wants to call people. AJ cannot sit still. Sit down. Sit down. Hello? Calm down. Oh my god, this is hot. Sit down. Her name is Oh my god, that's so cute. She got this white dot in the middle of her forehead. Like she opened her third eye. So, so her name is Ow. Sit down. Oh my god. Let me call you back, okay? I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> no! That's over with and done! That was fun. So I guess this guy has a dog named Roseanne who had puppies with her brother. And I'm sorry, but this does not look like a woman who doesn't want a man, doesn't want a man's attention. She was all up in that camera talking about how good he looks. And she's going to call him back. NJ, please leave me alone. You literally give me a headache every day. Like every it's, I have like so much patience. One thing about me, you guys, you guys can never say I don't have patience of steel. I used to babysit when I was younger, and that's what, okay, give it to me. That's what everybody used to tell me. Liv, you're gonna be such a good mom because you have so much patience. And thank God I do, okay? My patience were for this one, right here. We're here. This was my test of time. This was what I was called to do. Raise this little mother. <laughs> I'm just joking. I love him. I love him. I love him. Where you going, dude? Give me that. Oh, you think you slick. You think you slick. He found a marker. Anyway, guys, we'll talk later. So that was pretty much the end of the live stream. AJ was hanging up on everybody and calling everybody. Liv got tired of it. But it looks like she did enjoy talking to that random man. Let me know in the comment section, do you think Liv does have patience? I guess she said people in the past said that she would be a great mom because she has patience. I remember her talking about beating her children with spatulas. So I don't know about the whole patience thing, but let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Do you think Liv and Zolo are co-parenting with AJ? And do you think Zolo will ever actually see AJ in person? And is Casper actually going to be there for Kailani's birthday? He doesn't have much time. It's next month. He didn't see her birth and he hasn't seen her ever. So this makes you wonder, is he really going to be there for his daughter this time? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.